Hello and welcome Geminis. So Geminis, your turn for the November readings. I'm using the Faith Shifters um, tarot for the astrology cards. Um, doing a bit differently for you guys. I feel like the fairies are kind of calling me now rather than the animal and the earth cards. So your overall, your animal spirit is the koi fish. There is always enough. So there's always enough. You don't need any more than what you you have in your life, you know? Like there's more to life than money and career and such. So don't worry, Gemini's, you'll be fine. And then your message from the fairies, which is your overall energy. Um, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, who will you find that your wishes will come true? So who do you forgive for the, what's happened in the last month or so? Um, it's interesting, do you know? And like, and it's enough. You have to. That's enough. Like to just let them forgive, you know. Um, the first week of November, we have the Sun card. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and uh, wow! What the hell? Accommodations, accommodations. Just never heard of accommodations. But I'm like blind today. Gratitude for the blessings of life. So plans are coming together. Things are going your way. It's great, you know, it's good. And then we have the four swords. So you can now rest and re relax. Things are going your way. First week of November is a breeze. Things are going your way. Things are going in favor for you. It's great. Second week, we have the 10 of autumn, which is the 10 of pentacles. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Make wise investments or planning for retirement. Uh, honoring the family tradition so because it's nearly christmas there's a family tradition probably um coming up before november or something if someone's birthday is in november if you are retiring in the next few years still keep you know putting that money away it's great keep putting it away you'll be grand and then to go with that we have the page of one so good news is on the way some something good is on the way for you guys i want to see what it's about the magician so maybe about your work or some skills you may be getting some new skills for your job that kind of thing maybe it's about that we don't know the third week of november we have the four spring which is the four of wands be grateful you have much to celebrate deep feelings of peace happiness and content content a contented personal life a content personal life it's weird um this is also the four of wands so it means like a wedding maybe is coming up and to go, to go with that, we have the Two of Cups. So maybe there's some wedding or some proposal coming your way. Or you make the proposal. You're just like, it's time. Do you know what? It's time. I'm done with it. I'm done. It's time. So Two of Cups is great. You know, it's all about, you know, a union. Um, love and the air and all that stuff. Uh, the last week we have Princess of Autumn. Studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. So the pr the plan that maybe that went perfectly that was set in motion at the start of the month. It's finally coming to manifestation. Uh, needing a little push to get going. So maybe there's something you're like a bit. Oh, I'm a bit hesitant about. I'm not sure. You have the four of w uh, coins here, so of wheels. So the wheels are turning. Coins whatever you want to call it, your, sa your money that you're saving from here, it's now going towards this change and you're like a bit unsure about it. We have the death card as well. So this is a natural course of action. This is supposed to happen. It's meant to happen. It's, you know, it's part of life, the like retirement, all that stuff. It's all about it. And even going up the ladder is also part of life as well. So let's see what the fairies are saying for you as well. What messages do they have? Awesome. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. Clearly you do, because it's now autumn here in Ireland. And that's the first week of, of November. Second week of November, we have ask for what you want. Let the universe and the other people know what you what you need. So clearly in the second week there, we had, um, you know, put your retirement money, save money, your career and stuff. Ask what you want. What do you want? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so this one where we had the four of wands and the two of cups, a bit of union, maybe a wedding or a party, a birthday, maybe. 
a significant birthday holds an answer to your question. So if there's a birthday coming up for in November for someone you know, um, Gemini's, um, maybe, maybe there's a question you need to ask the person uh, for whose birthday it is, you know, maybe it's that. In the last week we had um, all your plans are coming together, you're a bit hesitant, you don't want to spend all that money, you want to save it all. But this is also a natural course of action, like, you know, it's all part of life kind of thing with that death card. And to go with that we have emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, we receive a new blessing of love. Um, so, yeah, it's like maybe this is like opening a scar that you didn't think you had. And the the idea of moving forward is scary. But you need to know that there's always enough. And who do you need to forgive? Like, do you forgive the person who harmed you? Or do you have to forgive yourself? That's how the thing works. So I'll leave that there, Gemini's. I hope you have a wonderful November. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.